When the Louisville Zoo opened its doors in 1969, only two dozen people attended the ribbon cutting ceremony. WHAS 11 spoke with zoo employees who witnessed the beginning. When I first started, there was hardly any shade. You know, trees were new and small. Almost none of the original $6 million it took to build the zoo went into landscaping. The exhibits seen here were few and far between. The wow factor was exhausted within minutes of seeing the elephants and giraffes. When the zoo was smaller, people didn't see the need or the urgency to come back. Even the petting zoo left more to be desired. In the old days, it was something like a farm. It was just an open area and the animals were not too, it just wasn't exciting. Despite its shortcomings, nearly 350,000 people toured the zoo in that first year. Kids got in for a quarter, adults cost 50 cents. By the late 70s, senior zoo officials were already envisioning the possibilities for the Louisville Zoo. We have numbers of uh, different exhibits we'd like to build. Uh, we need a herpetarium display of uh, reptiles. We need an ape house. Uh, uh, lots of uh, interesting displays can be added to the zoo. Um, it's going to take a lot of a lot of time, a lot of money, and probably to accomplish this about about another 10 years, we should be able to be pretty well complete with the development of the zoo. In the years that followed, the zoo made improvements to its appearance <laughs> and expanded its animal collection. <laughs> Often celebrating its birthday with cakes, clowns, live music, and activities for kids. The ape house that had been envisioned by zoo officials back in 1979 became a reality in 2002. The Gorilla Forest exhibit opened to the public in the summer of that year and has been a huge success. But for those who were there at the beginning, the biggest change is how the zoo has grown to be one with nature. It's the immediate thing that catches your eye now is how much the park has grown up. It's a much better park-like atmosphere when you come out. The trees are tall, It's a lot of shade. The Louisville Zoo has continued to make changes since its early days, and now it's a prime attraction both for Louisvillians and tourists alike. So what's next for the Louisville Zoo? Ah, come back next year. Let's find out.